All right, let's see if I can do this in one take. That lows right now because my stupid screen door roller came off and the wheel broke, so I need to find a replacement wheel and the damn shower door guide at the bottom that keeps them, you know, stop flapping broke. Anyway, uh, so talk about why do people go into street live streams and try to stir up shit? Now, before you all accuse me of being a hypocrite, I will admit that I used to do that. And that was a long time ago. So, but I was in a stream. I'm not going to do this without throwing names out there. So you guys can do your Columbo-like, or whatever the hell he called it, skills and stuff like that. And probably put two and two together. Anyway, I was in a stream the other day. Observing mostly, I wasn't really participating very much. And I will say, well, first, first disclaimer, this is nothing against or to do with the host. And this is nothing to do with or against 99% of the moderators that are, that are in this, that moderate this person's stream because more so than not, they do an excellent job on controlling the stream. But I did notice that one person was singled out. For what, I don't know. And it was a couple of other people against this one person. Where the hell am I? It's gotta be down this way. And moderator's job is to be impartial. Impartial to the host, for the host, and keep the stream and the comments monitored so the host doesn't have to sit there and try to do everything because I know how hard it is doing a live stream, as some of you also do. But there seemed to be one moderator that don't know who, that was not impartial and kept timing out this one person for what I saw was really no reason until that person decided to say, okay, I'm just gonna bow out of this stream. And then the other party continued to bash the other person that left the stream without any penalty, without any warning, without any timeout. And it continued probably good for another good five minutes or so. Now, I'm not telling the moderators on how to do their job because they're all excellent moderators. But if you're going to ban one person from the stream and or that one person asks why so they know not to do it again and nothing, no answer is given on why they were timed out and just timed out again, and the other people are free to run amok in the stream. Not right. And then they thank that moderator, whoever that moderator was, and continue to push the issue. When the vast majority of people know that there really isn't an issue, and if there is an issue, that person brings it upon themselves. 
most of the time. Now, you can have both sides of the uh, spectrum like the same person and join in on the discussions of a live stream and just pay no attention to the other people that you not happen to like and keep in hand on the subject that is being talked about. Now, I'm gonna do this probably as a, or chalk this up to a one-off type of thing, but I won't hold my tongue again as much as I am right now if I happen to observe it once more. So, again, disclaimer, nothing on the host. I think very highly of the host, and I do think very highly of the mods for the stream because they do do a uh, excellent job. But someone dropped the ball yesterday. So let's see what happens on the next stream. And I'm not gonna try to defend the one person because that person is an adult and he can defend himself. Don't need to worry about that because I know if it got into a back and forth between the person that left and the person that continued to bash the other person along with some others that they couldn't hold water in a back and forth between the per of that person that left the person that left would wipe the floor with that individual Anyway, that's all I got to say on that. We'll continue to join in and continue to be there when I can. Talk to you all later.